Canadian and Algerian government representatives met with Sanana Guzmao this week. The Australian government has announced one million Australian dollars to support Timor-Leste. The annual Polish Cup football tournament kicked off in Dili this week. And St. Peter's School celebrates its anniversary with students showing their talents in music and catwalk. Hello, I'm Zeri Madeira with RTTL World News. Countries around the world continue to express their interest. A non-governmental organization, Fundación Mahen, released a report highlighting human trafficking as a serious and growing problem in Timor-Leste. Timor-Leste's social and economic conditions are considered to facilitate and encourage human trafficking. In an interview with Bella Cordial, director of Fundación Mahen Nelson Bella views, young people looking for work abroad are more likely to become victims he said, lack of education and knowledge of rights and laws increases their vulnerability to being trafficked. In a universal way, is human trafficking is a, a crime. That's the weather for tomorrow. Back to you, Jerry. Thanks, Melvia. Thanks for joining us for our English bulletin. Tonight, we'll present you with a song by students of St. Peter's School with the title Duke in Alto. We will be back next week with important news of Timor-Leste. Goodbye for now.